Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to an episode of Hack with Nas. Delete edition. Using Kali. All right. So we're going to use Fluxuon. It's a great program that uses no brute force. It's for one of those who just want to look like a badass and actually do something without remembering all of those air crack and air mong commands. All right. First things first, install it. Go to your terminal and run that shit. CD, downloads, and redirect there, and then type in this little bad boy in there, and then enter. Once it's installed and all that shit, run it. LS, CD, LS, dot plug showing. And you, it'll run and it'll install. Once it installs, if you if, remember, if you're not root, sudo. All right. Once it installs, you'll notice it's missing some stuff. Install these. sudo apt get blah 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 and blah blah or or you can do this. Unt unt apt dot git and just keep doing it over. And then just run it all as one big command. Well, it's all down there for you. And in the bottom, so. Alright. Once it's installed, redirect to it. Always say it's in your downloads, so CD, downloads, list, everything that's there, amigo. CD, Blaxion, I like saying that word. And then we're gonna run that program, sudo, because it is one of those programs. Alright, you can't have my password. Bam. And it'll load. And while it loads, have a great cup of tea. Alright, I'm gonna hack a network I created just for this purpose. Um, you could hack different networks. Don't hack anything illegal. Alright, heads up. And don't hack your friend just because you realize you're watching some naughty stuff and now you're trying to get into his network to do who knows what. Alright, chill out. Alright, so select your language. Select your interface. I'm gonna use my external Wi Fi card, which is WLAN. Oh no, zero is usually the internal one. So we're gonna use DOS. That runs, we're gonna select all channels. And voila, it runs. Um, let it have a good scan. All right, give it about a minute. Take a quick coffee break. Change the music. And I'm back. All right, now that it's scanned um, sufficiently enough to where you're semi-satisfied, control C or command C, not anything else. Bam. So as you can see, this means there's active clients. People are connected to it right now. So let's go with number 28, which is the one that creates for you special people. Or you can press R for rescan. We're gonna do a fake IP, fake op, 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 op. Which is the best one I say, don't brute force it, just do that. Hey look, it found a handshake, because I've already found one. Do you want to use this file? No, let's create a new one. Here, let's delete that file, downloads. Oh, should be in the roots. Oh, it's somewhere there. Handshakes. Oh, guess it's not there anymore. All right, enter. Air crack, deauthenticate all. So it's gonna keep doing this shit. So, BSSID is the router. Power is how strong the connection is. And look, we found a handshake already. How exciting! What the handshake is, is someone knocks at your door and then you open that door, they don't tell you their name and shake your hand, you're not letting them in. It's your device connected to their device. They gotta be friendly, you need that handshake. If they don't, then you be like, what? You ain't selling me anything. We slam my door and tell them to F off. All right, so your BSSID is that router. Um, and then you got your channel. Think of it this way. Channel six, walkie talkie. You got Bravo team. And under Bravo team, you're gonna have Johnny, Alpha, Omega, which is like your TV, your PlayStation, and so forth. It'll still have the same team name, 
with different station names. All right. So there you go. That's a quick explanation of that. Now that we got the WP handshake, we come here and we press one. Bam. And we can use a web interface. What that does is that it cre it'll keep the authenticating the connection they're connected to. And um, wait, wait, wait. It'll keep connecting them to the that connection they connect to. It'll keep the authenticated so they keep losing it. Then they're gonna check what's going on, and they're gonna see their network there. Two of them, an open network. They're gonna click onto it. They're gonna be like, "Huh, maybe something's up." They'll click into that open network, which is a fake one you made, and then it'll ask for their username and password. So English, we're gonna spoof their network English, cause we's in America here. And um, yeah, bam. So now it's doing this and it's making a fake network. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. The more people that connect to it, cause it's gonna keep sending these packets over and over and over and they're gonna wanna shoot your ass, your friend, because um, you keep kicking him off while he's trying to play Call of Duty or doing his adult things, I don't know. All right, so we got one person that's hooked up to our original network now and I'm like, shit. Actually, correction, I got one person hooked up to the fake network. Bam! So when I get to it, um, I'm going to click on it, and it'll tell me go to page 192.168.1.1 because I can't still do anything, and my other network keeps uh, de-authenticating me, or to redirect me. Now I'm going to click on it, and on my phone, it redirects me. And it'll say for security reasons, enter the WPA key to access the internet. Oh, this must seem legit. It's my network name. And my network name is. Go. And now it's going to connect the password that they did with mine. And it'll say your connection will be restored in a few moments. If not, it'll say incorrect network. Because it's matching their key with the master key, the handshake we got. And look, voila! The more people, stations you see, the more chances you have somebody's gonna connect to it and give you that password. And then it'll save your password. If not, just remember it, all right? Sometimes it'll take 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, but you gotta realize this way. If it's your homie living next door and you're playing Call of Duty and you hack his network, then you have his password. You can hook up to his network and beat him with his own network and then throw it in his face later. Homie, the reason you were lagging is because I was on it too. There you go. Have fun. Don't do anything illegal. I'm watching you.